So a few weeks ago, I got an email from the nice people over at Vantru, makers of a dash cam, asking if we wanted to test out one of their new models. And I was like, sure. So they shipped us one of their latest dash cams called the Vantru S1 Pro. K voice controlled dash cam. It also has a rear view camera option as well. All right, today we're going to do an unboxing of a dash cam from Vantru called the S1 Pro. Vantru Sonnet One Pro. Oh, I'd say I need the power cable. Okay, I just did. It's nicely packaged. It's a nice foam insert. We got this, the camera, and the rear camera. This has two cameras, a front camera and a rear camera. I think this is the rear camera. This is the front camera and control unit here. Here's the window like this. And you've got different things you can do with the buttons here. Comes with a nice trim tool to help you hide the wires. The 12 volt to USB-C power adapter. These are the uh, adhesive the stickers to adhere the front and the back camera to the windshield and the rear view window. USB-C to an angled USB-C. And a USB A to USB C. Inside, you've got a nice instruction booklet in many languages. A cloth to keep it clean. And this is nice, a security sticker. Very nice. So I'll take a look at this. And let's go install it in the van. So the first thing you've got to do is add an SD card. They don't give you one, um, which I wish they did, but I happen to have one right here, 128 megabyte or a gigabyte card that goes into the side right here. Until you have the click. Fits in nicely. Take off this sticker so we can see the screen. There we go. So it comes in a couple parts. There's the, the, the mounting piece, which might also be a battery, I'm not sure. And the camera it's, and control screen. I'm, I'm going to mount it near the rear view mirror on the passenger side so it doesn't interfere with the driver's visibility. Right like that. first thing you do is you clean the window a little bit. Okay. Then the electrostatic sticker. Put this guy right out 
there. Got to bubble down that again. Then, peel off the second side of the electrostatic sticker, mark number two. And lastly, remove the cover to the sticker on the mounting piece of the dash cam. And try to make sure we get it nice and centered and straight. Looks pretty good right there. Hold it for a few seconds to make sure it stays. And there we go. I want to mount it low enough so it's not impacted by the tinting on the windshield, but high enough so it's out of the field of view of the driver. Now this dash cam comes with a, a front camera and a rear camera. At this point, I'm not going to mount the rear camera. One, it's tricky on a van like this, where I've got a lot of things going on in the back with the RV set up, to running the wire back there is difficult. I could go out the floorboard, beneath the van, up in the back, and find a way to the rear door somehow, but I think the camera has to be mounted inside. However, I've got this rear view mirror that also has a backup camera that records as well, and that one works just fine. So for now, I'm gonna leave the rear camera for the rear view mirror in place and not worry about the rear camera for the van true. So they give you a 12 volt to USB-C power cord. Seems, I don't know how long it is, but it's uh, plenty long for running along the windshield to the, in my case, 12 volt power adapter that is beneath the center console here. So you've got two USB-C ports on the side of the unit. One is to the rear camera and one is labeled DC and for the power. It's important to make this goes into the, make sure this goes into the DC power port. There we go. Then they give you a trim tool to help hide this wire. Which is a little tricky, but it fits up here and you can put it in pretty good and it'll stay out of the way, I think. See what happens here. So when I power it on, I'm asked English or French. I'll say English. My time zone. And then my date format. Month, day, year works. And it pulls up the correct date and time. Very nice. Frequency, 50 hertz or 60 hertz. I'll choose 60 hertz. Speed units, uh, miles per hour. Wi-Fi, 5G. Format the card, yes.
one that's successful. Okay, and there's the picture. Now, I did not take off the front sticker here, so I'm assuming I could fix that. There we go. And there's my view. Looks pretty good, but we'll know more when we start driving with it. On a side note, I would love it if Mercedes would install like six 12 volt ports, so I don't have to do this. So we've been using it for about a month now. We used it on our road trip all the way to Florida and back. You may have seen some of the video that we used uh, that it captured to show some of the driving scenes. It produces a great picture day and night. It's pretty easy to use. It's got a little SD card on there that you can pop it out and quickly get the, the files onto your computer if you, if you want them. The unit actually pops off pretty easily that allows you to take out the SD card very easily, or if you're concerned about it being stolen or leaving it somewhere, you can pop off the dash cam itself, stick it in your glove box, and reattach it. It's got a feature that you can tell it to, for example, take a photo. And it will automatically take a photo, or start recording, or turn on or off the Wi-Fi, based upon your voice. You can also manually just push the button there to take a photo or, or to log an event. So if something happens that's interesting, you can push the button and it goes into a special drive on the SD card. It's a solid unit. It's got pretty good night vision as well. We used it to capture a thunderstorm as we were driving in Mississippi. And if you're in the market for a dash cam, it's a pretty nice, convenient little package. You know, it also comes with a rear view mounted camera. It's got a 20 foot cable. We attached it to the inside above our mirror so that we can record ourselves to help make better videos. Most people probably won't want to do that, so you may just want to put it to the back of your car and get a nice complete front and rear dash cam. All in all, it's a great product if you're in the market for a dash cam. We do have our rear view mirror here that also has a dash cam on it, a front and rear. And as you've seen, we moved it down above the dash so that it no longer is impacted by this bulky headliner piece here and can get a much better view of the front of the vehicle. The rear camera pivots 360 degrees so you can mount it however you see fit and then just spin the camera around. It's got uh, Wi-Fi on it so that I can connect to it directly from my phone anytime so I can download images or I can see a live picture from my phone while it's on. And if you're interested in having it hardwired so that it operates when you're not in the vehicle, there's a separate hardwired kit available. We just have ours plugged into the cigarette lighter. Installation was easy but it didn't come with an SD card so I did have to use my own SD card which was fine but now it will record a ton of video. It's got different resolutions you can record at as well so I record on 4K, but you can record on less than that if you want the, the SD card to last longer. As it is, it'll just overwrite when it is full, so it can, so you can leave it in there indefinitely. And then anytime you need it, you can view the images from your phone or pop out the SD card and view them on your computer. It's also got a feature that if you are bumped or in an accident or even go over a, a big pothole, it'll automatically record the incident and then flag it in a, in a special folder called events on the SD card. It's recording all the time, but that way you can go back and look at the events to see if something happens. We're very happy with it. It's been great, easy to use. We'll keep using it. And while we do have our rear view mirror, I think the Van True is a better dash cam. It's more stable, it's more solid, smaller and it just stays there right out of the way. One simple function and it does it beautifully. So if you're in the market for a dash cam, something that's small, unobtrusive, 4K and voice controlled, check out the Vantu S1 Pro. You can find links to that 
as well as everything else in our van on our website at www.howwevan.com. We've got links to everything in our van as well as our thoughts, reviews, and impressions on every item at howwevan.com.